Hi, and welcome to Quick Hits. I'm John Toby, and today we will be covering a slightly different topic. Instead of diving into a new product, today I will be featuring Acclaim Lighting's Active Touch user interface. This onboard menu is included our premium floodlights, the Dynadrum series, all three sizes, our new Unity, and the Dyna Accent fixtures. All of our flood and linear products can have remote DMX addressing via our XMT350, but our premium floods have a unique, easy to read OLED screen that allows you to control any of the fixtures functions directly on the luminaire. Let me begin with reviewing the common features, but before doing that, we need to access the OLED screen, which is done by removing the safety cover. Now that the OLED screen is exposed, the first step is activating the screen by holding down the menu button. This takes approximately seven seconds to unlock. Although there is a reasonable amount of time that the screen remains unlocked, should you step away for a while, you may have to repeat this procedure as we have a lock timer built in for safety. Once you have entered the menu, the four control buttons allow a user to navigate and adjust as necessary. There are well over a dozen features that can be accessed directly via the OLED screen. Let's review some of the most common setup options for typical color changing or white light fixture. Using Unity for our color changing example, the first feature we generally want to activate with Unity is the channel mode, meaning are we working in the default seven channel or five channel mode depending on the application. After that, the next step would be to assign a DMX address. All Acclaim lighting fixtures are preset to DMX address 1, but you can change it to any number between 1 and 512 quite easily, and don't forget to press enter to lock it in. Finally, for all color changing models, since DMX is the native protocol, the user can decide to activate the ARIA wireless system. This is done in two steps. First, locate the ARIA wireless DMX and press enter. Then enable the radio function by changing it to on from off and press enter again. Now for the final step to enable ARIA, and this is where we often get support calls as installers unfamiliar with DMX can confuse the ARIA radio channel for the DMX channel, they are totally independent and have no relation whatsoever. So now we go to wireless channel and match the channel of the fixture to the channel on the transmitter. Press enter to lock in the change, and now you're controlling your fixture wirelessly. Now, for a typical white light fixture, let's look at some features using a static white Dynadrum as an example. If you plug in any of our white light DMX fixtures and no control is present, they default to full on. With our user interface, we can go even further. A unique feature we have is solo behavior. Once you've accessed this mode, instead of say DMX, you can scroll to the internal output mode, press enter, and then preset the fixture to a dedicated output. Once set, press enter to save that setting so every time your fixture turns on, it defaults to that preset dimming point. Setting solo behavior on color changing fixtures lets a user set a dedicated color based on mixing DMX values of the various LEDs. Finally, the user interface allows you to enable the standard photocell feature and all premium floods. You can then enable a timer for how many hours you want the light to run from 1 to 24 and cap it off with one final step. Select the photocell sensitivity based on ambient light levels. We have fixtures preset to 70, but 1 to 100, with 100 being the most sensitive, is available for you to decide what works best under your installation conditions. Acclaim's Active Touch is truly a user interface like no other. From the simplest to the most advanced functions, controlling all features at the tip of your finger is a breeze. For easy field work and fixture setup on your next project, reach out to your local Acclaim Lighting representative for more info. Thanks for watching.